All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish telling them. Okay, all right, I'm back. Um, so April Townsend. Okay, so um, I gotta tell you about Abraham, and then I'll. It's all connected. As you know, Abe, uh, he's actually the father of the generations of uh, the household of Israel. So I had already told him through Isaac, the world would be blessed. So, uh, <clears throat> so then I put a test. Of course, you know Dad put a test to him to see, uh, test his faith, which he passed. He passed the test. That's how, uh, that's how April is. She's kind of has huge faith like Abraham did. Okay, so here's the deal for the people that don't know. I told Abraham, now keep in mind I had already told Abraham that the world was going to be blessed through Isaac. Okay. All right, so then I turn around and I tell Abraham to kill Isaac. He's like, oh, okay, we cool. So, a lot of people didn't really get that. Abraham had a lot of faith because he know that we can't lie. Father had said, Abba had said, kill your boy. But prior to that, he had already said, he gonna be so uh, so many of the descendants like the sand of the sea. So Abraham already knew what God, he's like, okay, he telling me to kill him. I ain't worried because he, he done already told me that through this son, he telling me to kill. That's how we're going to repopulate the household of Israel. Okay. So, yeah, he he took the knife and was ready. He would have done it, okay? Because he knew that one, one thing or another, at the end of the day, Isaac was yet still going to be alive at the end of the day. If he had killed him, he knew that God was going to raise him up because God can't lie, okay? So, April Townsend has that kind of faith, too. So, we really had to shut her down about her daughter. We we just, we had to shut her down, especially about her daughter. Uh, she would be crying and wailing and all of this sort of stuff. And, and then she had the, well, let me just tell you another thing. She tells people that we love it when you wail and scream and cry because it touches our heart. The heartfelt prayers touch us. Now, we consider all prayers, but some some got a priority. Okay, the prayers that go like, okay, Jesus, bless my children, bless my grandmama, bless this. Or the prayers that like, Jesus, I need you to fix this. I can't make it without you. Those are the ones that get the rapid response. Now, we answer the other ones, but we kind of do a quick response to the people that are just wailing and crying and really meaning they, they, oh, they just really hurt and they calling on their Savior, okay, with everything that's in them. Those are the ones that we answer quicker, okay? So she tell people that. So, we had, we've been shutting her down now for years, shutting her down. But we hear the prayer, we answer it. She's, like I said, she's on a uh, auto ship. Because the minute she opened her eyes, the angel, her mouth, they already know. Oh, uh, yeah, this, this is the favorite one, yeah. She's the one that be doing all that hollering. <laughs> and then she had, <laughs> she'll get a scripture and holler like Jesus, son of David, have mercy. She tell people to follow the pattern of the people that got their prayers answered. So she, you know, the man that they told us, shut up, stop hollering louder. 
So she tells people that she hollers in her prayers. <laughs> we hear her. <laughs> like I said, so much we do. We have to shut her down. Yep, sure do. Abba. We do. But anyway, that's enough about April Townsend. It's more people. I mean, she gives out really good advice. So I would, I would uh, suggest that y'all. Not only her, I got a lot of people out there. We got a lot of people out there, but she's more, uh, now she probably don't want y'all to know, but she's an empath. So she feels a lot of people's pain and stuff like that. Uh, so she used to just really not like the idea of, but, yeah, she's getting used to it. She's getting used to it because she knows that we gave her that so she could have empathy for people. She could literally feel their emotional pain. And she's like, thank God you didn't give me the physical pain like some of the empaths. Because you know I wouldn't have been able to take that physical pain. But anyway, uh, so, yeah, she's she's one of our favorites. I must admit, and Dad, I got it from Dad because I started noticing a pattern. She's like, well, I'm going to follow everybody in the owner's manual that got their prayers requested. Mm -hmm. And she's, she's done it. So, yeah, we have favorites. All right? Got a problem with you with that? Why don't you try to be one? Okay? You try to be one. Try to be a favorite. Not just a regular. They're going to make it in, but we do have favorites. 